Social media posts about human trafficking have some Nashville women worried that they are being targeted. News Force Alexandria Adams spoke with the experts about what's real and what's fake. And Alexandria, I think we all need some important clarification here. Tracy, you're exactly right. Yeah, if you've seen some posts on Facebook recently about zip ties on car door handles or nail polish on the car door itself, turns out these things are just not true. It detracts from the actual issue. It makes people think that they are, that that is how someone gets trafficked, and that's not at all the case. Lorraine McGuire with In Slavery Tennessee says post online and text messages warning people about human trafficking are doing more harm than good. It's a very scary thing to see something like that, and so it, it creates this immense amount of fear in people and it just circulates because if somebody thinks that's a real thing, of course they're going to pass it on to people that they love. McGuire says when it comes down to the real tactics, there's much more that goes into it. It's a long process of somebody manipulating and then through force, fraud and coercion over time, pulling them into a situation. A lot of it does start online, a very high percentage of not only with teens, but also with adults begin with an online relationship, somebody that offers to buy you expensive things, someone that offers to buy you drugs, somebody that offers you things that just seem too good to be true. Despite these false warnings, it does shed some light to the global issue and another reminder for people to be more mindful. Women should always be aware of their surroundings when they're going to their car. They really should look around. They should pay attention to where they park. We do live in a dangerous world and there's always the possibility that something can happen. In Slavery Tennessee wants these myths put to a rest. If you would like to learn more information about the real tactics, we've made it super simple for you. Just check out the News 4 app.